let us see whatever you have solved so far, let us see how to approach these problems one by one. Once again because it is data sufficiency, we will have to consider each statement independently. If I look at uh, only 15 cents and 29 cents stamps and 15 cents how many did she buy? If I say she bought an equal number, so she could have bought 10, 10 also, 20, 20 also, 100, 100 also, we don't know. This does not give me how many means exact precise number. So the first statement is not sufficient at all. If I look at the second statement, she bought 440 worth of stamps. If I write an equation 15x plus 29y equal to 440. We are immediately tempted to use the first one which says x is equal to y and then you feel that okay obviously on combining who cannot get the answer. That is not the way ds should work. Okay. Let us try to see whether I can get the answer from this statement alone. Why are you given these numbers 15, 29, 44? There is a reason because the GMAT does not believe in calculations at all. So 15 plus 29 is 44. So, because 15 plus 29 is 44, we know one thing is for sure, 10 and 10 is a sure shot solution, right. Now, it does not mean there is no other solution, I have to prove that thing, whether there is another, another solution possible or not. So, this number ends in 0, ends in 0, this ends in 0 or 5, because 15 into something. So, this also should end in 0 or 5. Is this clear? This is the only way it can work. Now, 29 into what value can be equal to, can be ending in 0 or 5? 29 into 1 will never end in 0 or 5, 2 will not end, 3 will not end, 4 will not end, 5. So, 29 into 5 is a possibility. If I use 29 into 5, which is equal to 145, this 145 will be subtracted from 440. Whatever remains is 295 and that will be divided by 15 which will give me integer or no integer. Just check. 300 by 15 is an integer. So, 295 by 15 is not an integer. And we are talking about number of stamps. So, number of stamps cannot be fractions. So, 29 into 5 is not going to work. Now, let us see 29 into 10 has already worked. So, the next number to try will be what 29 into 15. It should end in 0 or 5. I cannot have 11, 12, 13, 14. So, 29 into 15. What is 30 into 15? 450. So, 29 into 15 will be 435. 435 will be subtracted from 440. So, it will be 5 divided by 15 again not integer. So, 29 into 15 is also a flop value. 29 into 20 will be beyond 440. So, that is out. So, how many integer solutions exist for the second equation? 1. So, the only possible answer is 10 and 10. That is why my answer is B. Yeah, they may. 8 and 2, 29 into 2 will never give me any number ending in 0 or 5. 440 is surely 0 ending. 15 into something, can it end with 8 or 2? 15 into something will always end with 0, 5. So, the third number should also end with 0, 5. What did we? B. Because I have not used the first statement here. 